I got something real important to talk to you about. Yeah, that just happened. Hey, Power Director Peeps, how y'all doing out there? My name is Malik, and I'm back on your screen with more Power Director love. You know, the Power Director love you're looking for from Power Director University. Today, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on importing footage into Power Director 16. Let me know in the comment section below if you like this kind of content, and I'll be sure to bring more your way. Let's jump into the software and make it happen. Here we are in Power Director 16. Before we get started, I want to remind you guys to subscribe to Power Director University to see great tips and tricks just like this every Saturday. Let's get down to the important stuff. In our previous workflow series video, we discussed the preference settings for editing. If you didn't catch that video, I recommend you watch it. The link to the preferences video is up near the top of this video and it's in the video description. So since our preferences are set up how I like them, we're going to talk about importing media. The first thing that I'll always do is I create a folder somewhere on my internal hard drive that has a copy of all the files I'm going to use in the project, not the original files, a copy of the files. All right, so if I go here to File Explorer, I can go to the location here where I have all the files that I want to use in this project. All right, it helps me to organize things, keep things clean, and then I don't have to worry about messing up the original file because I'm only I'm using the copies of those original files as well. The next thing that I like to do is remove all of the media that's in the library, all of these sample files. So to do that, I'm gonna go up here to the library menu. I'm gonna left click on that. And then I'm gonna go down here to empty the library. If you don't want the sample files to show up when you open the program, you can edit that setting in your preferences. And like I said, Check out the preferences video and it'll show you exactly how to do that so that when you open up Power Director, those sample clips aren't there. The next thing that I like to do is save my project and give it a name. So the next thing I do is I go to File, Save Project As. I go to a location where I want to save my project. Let's just say I save it here with all of these thingies. And I give it a name. And I'm going to call this color match time two. And I'll click on save. Now I'm done with all of that. I can start importing. So there's a few different ways I could do that. If I right click here in the library, I get a menu with a few options. The first one is import media files. And this allows you to import one or multiple files at a time. Then you have import a media folder. And this option allows you to import an entire folder. So you can't do individual files or multiple files. You just have to do the whole folder with this option. And then the last import option on here is import library. Now to import a library, you need to export a lib an existing library first. So if I had a bunch of files in the library and I wanted to export them into a file that I can use to open up those files in another library, then I would select export library. And then when it's time to import them, I would select import library. So I'm gonna just click on import library. And you see here, I have a PDL file, it's a Power Director library file. And this contains shortcuts to the original clips that I used when I first created this library way back on January 21st of 2017, almost a whole year ago. So if I moved any of those files, it won't be able to find them because this is not the actual files. It's just links 
to where those files are. So if I click on this and select open, it's going to look for those files and it's oh, you moved that one or deleted it or renamed it or something. So I don't know where that is. So I'm just going to click on ignore and anything that it can't find anymore. I'm just going to click on ignore. So I must've moved a bunch of files since then. It's been a whole year. So if you ever have a bunch of files in there and you want to move them to a shortcut and you know, you're not going to move those files, you can export that library and then you can import that library using this function. So I'm going to remove these files again. And let's talk about the other options. So if I right click, I have import media files. So if I select that, then I can go back to this color match folder and I can select files one by one, or I can left click a, cl a clip or a file. I can hold down my control key and then I can select another one to select multiple files. So if I only wanted to import these four files, I can now click on open and it'll bring those four files in. So I'll click on open and it brought in those four files and left the other two files out. I'm going to remove these again. And then the last option is to import a folder. This time, instead of right clicking in the library, I'm going to go here to the import media icon. And if I click on that, I get the same options for importing here. The only one I don't get is to import a library. This time, if I select import a media folder, I can left click on that. And I can go find that folder I want. So I'm going to left click on color match and then I'll select select folder. And it's going to bring in all the files that were in that folder. And now I can edit with these files. So that's it people. That's how you import files in the power director 16. All right, power director peeps. That's it. I want to thank you for watching this video all the way through to the end. It truly means the world to me. Now I want to send a shout out to one of my subscribers, Chucky Lad. Chucky Lad makes vlogs on his YouTube channel. So if you like vlogging and you want to check out some interesting things that's going on with Chucky Lad, head on over to his channel, check out a couple of his videos, and if you're feeling what he's dealing, make sure that you subscribe. If you want to get a shout out like Chucky Lad did, make sure that you head over to the video description and fill out our shout out request form. If you got a tutorial you'd like us to make, head over to the video description and fill out our tutorial request form. Now that I'm done with that, I got a few things I need you to do for me. The thumb. The one that's pointed in the upward direction, click on it. It lets people know that the content in this video is good and that they should watch it too. If you got any comments, questions, you just want to talk and chop it up with your boy, leave those things in the comment section below. And last but not least, smash that subscribe button and after you do that, click on the bell. When you do, you receive notifications every time I upload content to YouTube, and that way you don't miss out on any of the learning and all of the fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.